Hey everybody, I'm showing you how to put a carbureted SBC intake on your TBI truck, F body, whatever. Uh, a couple things won't interchange, uh, but overall it's pretty pretty much the same. But uh, what I have on here is an Edelbrock 3701 carbureted spread bore intake. And the reason I went with this intake is because I got it for 50 bucks from some kid online. So I did have to elongate the two center holes there to bolt it up to the stock TBI heads. Now in order to run a carbureted EGR intake, mind you, because that's what this is, it's an EGR intake, I had to get a Transdapt adapter plate, carburetor to TBI adapter, you can get it from Summit Racing. Um, I also have a inch long um, or inch deep throttle body spacer here and also i had to get this adapter it's called an egr 1476 adapter uh, so that way it moves the egr valve out of the way from the throttle body now normally you know it would hit without the with or without the spacer i just wanted to lift it up anyway but uh, this cost cost me about 65 bucks on Amazon, but they go about 80 on Summit. Uh, I did have to get an older style SBC EGR valve uh, to bolt it on here. I don't like the way it looks, but I'll get over it. Uh, it just barely clears the valve cover. It doesn't hit, so it's fine. Um, now on the trucks, you normally have like a plate that sits right here that has like your sensors and everything on it. And what I did was I went ahead and I used the smaller of the plates, drilled a hole on the back, and I mounted the EGR solenoid on the back of that. Uh, I've got my map sensor here, and the ESC module is bolted on down there. It was actually really simple. It just bolts on to the uh, little nut down there. As you can see, I redid the harness and made it look all pretty. Um... I didn't have to do any mods to the throttle bracket. All I had, all it did was uh, just moved it up and everything was fine. Uh, it doesn't hang open or anything like that. I did have to readjust the TV cable so that way the transmission shifts properly. But uh, overall, it really wasn't that hard. I did have to, you know, modify just little things in the wires, make them a little bit longer, but that wasn't a big deal. But as you see here, here it is, a 3701 intake on your uh, stock TBI 350, could be done on a 305. Now I will say Edelbrock does make two, in, not in Edelbrock, but Edelbrock and Holly does make an intake manifold that does bolt onto the stock TBI heads for 87 to 95. Uh, the Edelbrock one is a 3706. Um, I'll have to uh, look, put a link in the description for the Holly one. The Holly one's a little bit cheaper and it's got a little bit of a higher red line. Uh, but it is a square bore, not a spread bore intake. So you might have to do a little bit of porting on the top of it to get it to get some better airflow there. But outside of that, it's pretty straightforward. Wasn't too bad and it's all good. So here you go. Peace.